My name is Scarlett Lewis, and I founded the Jesse Lewis Choose Love movement following the murder of my six-year-old son, Jesse Lewis, in his first grade classroom at Sandy Hook Elementary School, alongside 19 of his classmates and six educators in one of the worst mass murders in U.S. history. My heart goes out to the parents of the Parkland, Florida high school students. I know their pain well. I've been exactly where they are now. They're reeling in agony and trying to comprehend how their child could have been viciously gunned down in school. I know they'll never be able to come to an understanding because it shouldn't have happened. And in reality, every school shooting we've experienced can be prevented. Why is this happening? The cause of this violence is the anger and disconnection of our youth. They face more trauma, less interpersonal connection, and report more stress and anxiety than ever before. The solution is teaching them how to have positive and healthy relationships, deep and meaningful connections, skills and tools for resilience, and how to manage their emotions. This is called social and emotional learning. Social and emotional learning, or SEL, has decades of scientific research that show that kids who have access to these programs in their classrooms do better academically, have less stress and anxiety, less behavioral issues, and less bullying. Long-term studies that have followed children who have had SEL through adulthood find less substance abuse, less mental illness of all kinds, less incarceration, and less violence, even less divorce rates. And it makes sense because we're teaching kids how to get along with one another. I decided to take my part of the responsibility for living in a country where things like this happen. I know I couldn't wait for someone else to fix it and that I had to do something. I started a worldwide movement to choose love that offers a free, comprehensive SEL program for pre-K through 12th graders that teaches students and their educators to choose love in every situation. We can't always choose what happens to us, but we can always choose how we respond and we can always respond in love. Kids that love each other won't want to harm one another. Does it sound simple? It is, but not necessarily easily. I need help spreading the word and people have to be willing and educators ready to implement this in their classrooms. The program is now in all 50 states and 45 countries and growing every day. If we all work together, we can be the change we wish to see in the world. Thank you for choosing love.